Hey guys, welcome to More Family Fun. So, we are going to talk about Disney today. Heather, we're going to Disney, <laughs> and when are we going? April. April 24th. So it's approaching very slowly, it feels like, but oh, yeah. yet it's coming, and we are excited. So we're in Disney plan mode. We've been in Disney plan mode. Uh, we're excited for all the, all the new things coming in Disney in 2020. And yeah, that's what we want to talk to you about today. So we're going to talk to you about all the new things coming and what we're excited for, what we're looking forward to. And uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so first off, Magic Kingdom, they're going to be blocking off the castle and painting it, I guess, beginning of February into the summer. So they're going to have that partitioned off, I guess. So that kind of sucks because so if it's your first time and you haven't seen the castle i don't know how much of it will be visible yeah but that's just part of it all right and that's all that i could find that was coming to magic kingdom this year there's a lot of stuff coming in a couple years but just not this year um hollywood studios the mickey's minis roll, roll, run away roll <laughs> <laughs> Okay, at Hollywood Studios, uh, I'm most excited about they're gonna have the Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. And I've been waiting forever for this ride, it feels like. It feels like they keep pushing it back, pushing it back. Uh, I loved the great movie ride, and when they closed that down, it was a sad, sad day. But anyways, uh, I'm looking forward to the Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railway, and yeah, are you? If so, let us know in the comments below. And, uh, what do you know about that run? Well... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. So as far as the Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, uh, what we know about it is it's at the Chinese Theater. That's about it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so what we're assuming is you go in, kind of like you did with the Great Movie Ride, and you're going to stand there, and you're going to watch a little clip. It's, uh, it's like a cartoon. And then I'm assuming it's like a 40 uh, type senses and all that stuff. And that's what I'm looking well, forward to. Well, according to the Disney website, you become like part of the cartoon. So I'm assuming that means 4D, but I don't know for sure. Sounds exciting enough. All I know is I love that new Mickey Mouse cartoon. Mm -hmm. When we're in our hotel room, that's all we watch. We never change that channel because it's, it's hilarious. It feels like we're at a Disney resort <laughs> at home if we have it playing. Too. Yes. So we always watch that, so that's what I'm really looking forward to because that cartoon just cracks me up. So I'm hoping that this will be kind of funny and stuff too. Uh, but yeah, so that's our number one thing we're looking forward to it's with this trip. It's available for Fast Pass, so hope, we're hoping to snag a couple if we yeah, can. Yeah, so at least they're letting us do that, so <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Anyway, the other thing that is coming to Hollywood Studios, there's going to be the Toy Story Land Roundup Rodeo Barbecue Restaurant. It's a mouthful, and I hope it's delicious because Toy Story Land could really use another restaurant. Yeah. They just have the Woody's Lunchbox. Which is good. It's good, but it's a quick service, so it's really limited seating. It's outside. Yeah, so you have to fight for those you, seats. You really do. <laughs> so, so it would be nice to have somewhere else to sit and eat, and it's air-conditioned. There's no like shade over on Toy Story Land, really, at all, so it would yeah. be nice. So when you're waiting away. for your family to get off <laughs> slinky slinky dog uh -huh. and yeah. it's supposed to be, i saw like an aerial map of it it's supposed to be right before the slinky ride so it's kind of like when you're coming yes, into so. toy story so it'll you don't probably have to go kinda, all the way in just to eat there it'll probably kind of take some of that pressure out of that area yeah, too because it's it kind of bottlenecks yeah it's a well i think toy story valley. land probably helped or um star wars probably yeah, helped a bit true. too but yeah Anyway, so that's what's coming okay, to Hollywood Studios. Looking forward Studios. to that. Whenever there's new food, we're always excited. Yeah, I'm really excited. And that isn't, I don't think they have a date for when it's going to open yet. They're still constructing it right now, but okay. hopefully soon. And then to Epcot, they are having a new nighttime spectacular fireworks show. And that's called Harmonious. I'm not quite sure. Harmonious? What do you know about it? <laughs> Not a lot. Well, they say it's the largest ever um, spectacular show to be created at a Disney park. So it sounds really cool and it's going to be in the lake. So it's going to be lights, music. It's got a lot of different artists working on that. So I'm really excited. I'm a little sad though to see um, Epcot Forever 
gone. <laughs> that was a temporary thing. We knew it was gonna be temporary, but thought it'd be here a little snag longer. Up these shirts. <laughs> yeah. So that'll be ending soon, and then the the new one will start, and then there's gonna be a couple new rides. Obviously, Remy. What's it called? The Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. <laughs> yeah, that's it. What's with these ride names? They're hard to say. <laughs> they're, they're mouthfuls lately. They're yeah, not like easy. The same letters. Anyways, but excited for that one. You've been hearing a lot about that one for a long time now. Mm -hmm. and, and it's nice to get a ride back in the back where the world showcase is. Because yeah. we ride all the rides up front, we go around the showcase, and the kids are miserable until we get to um, Los Caballeros. Los Caballeros. Yeah. Or so. Frozen. Or frozen, if but you want to wait an hour. Yeah, you only do that if you have a fast pass, pretty much. But, but uh, yeah, Epcot can definitely use a few extra rides. Yeah. So that's gonna be the France Pavilion. Um, it's supposed to be a 4D trackless dark ride, and you're supposed to shrink to the size of a rat and run around. Um, what's his name? Gastou's kitchen. Gastou's. Gastou's <laughs> kitchen floor. <laughs> Sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Um, the Beauty and the Beast sing along has already started. That started last month. Um, Have you just, done that yet? We haven't. So we haven't done we're that. We're really excited. It's supposed to be 13 minutes long, and from reading the review I read on it, it kind of sounds like Frozen sing along, but it's a little different in the way that it's not as much comedy. I think is what I read. But LeFou is supposed to be the hero in the story, mm -hmm. where he got. Beauty and Beast together, so it's gonna be one of those like we're gonna make fun of him probably. Shows. Is Josh Gad gonna be there? I don't know. Probably. He should make a cameo. <laughs> That'd be he cool. really should. Well, at least it's gotta be better than the other Beauty and the Beast show. Oh yeah. At Hollywood Studios. That one's okay. It's kind of corny though. It is very corny. So I'm a little. <laughs> but it's still excited. fun. I mean, to listen to the songs. Also over in France, uh, there's gonna be a new restaurant. It's like a new creepery. <laughs> I read it. Crepery. It's a new crepery restaurant in France. And um, during the food and wine, you had a crepe for the first time, and it was really good. Yes. So we're a little excited. And they're supposed to be authentic, obviously. It's the France Pavilion. But, I mean, I'm not really quite sure the name of it. I've seen three or four different names on blogs. So I'm not quite sure, but we're still excited. Food is always good for us. Yeah, if you're ever in that France Pavilion, make sure you watch that those acrobat. Uh, the street performers? Yeah, those guys are awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. They always entertain over there. I feel yeah, like no. it's always it's always a lot of fun. It's a good pavilion to hang out in. It really is. So really a new crazy. restaurant, make it even cooler. Yeah. Alright, and then there's a new restaurant going to be opening up called Space 220. And we are extremely excited for that one. That I feel like this, be really cool. this one they've been kind of advertising a lot too. Yeah. Nobody quite knows exactly what's going on. No. Uh, it looks really futuristic and fun. Yeah. <laughs> the Disney concept art of it though looks really cool. You're like in an elevator and you ascend into the stars and you can see like the earth below you. It's like a circular elevator is what it was projected to be. And you see the earth and you see Epcot and then you're in space. So. Sounds cool. And the food's gonna be American, so it's not gonna be weird, hopefully. I don't know, but. It'd be cool if they just served so, astronaut food. And there's supposed to be like a lot of beer and wine. Oh, oh astronaut nice. food. <laughs> like one of those frozen dry. Yeah. Toothpaste? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> the ice cream sandwiches, but they have a mission yeah. space. Yeah. Anyways, anyway, or just regular American food would be great. I'd be okay with anything. <laughs> I just wanna go in there and see what it's all about. It sounds cool to me. Yeah. So, yeah. What else is coming over there? Okay, so there's gonna be three new shows um, aside from the Beauty and Beast. There's gonna be the new Canada Far and Wide. Which is sad because they better not get rid of Martin Short. I don't know. <laughs> which they, they probably updated are, it. it needed to be updated. There's gonna be I new... love that old Canada show. Yeah. I loved it. It's hilarious. I'm sure they changed it out a bit, but it needed to be updated because it had been there for a long time. Um, they also did. Um, the update in China, The Wondrous China is what it's called now, and then Awesome Planet, which is the show that was in the land, so that's updated. And honestly, we didn't do those last two. We've no. never done those, so I'm kind of excited for the new ones, I think. But anyway, and then um, the Regal Eagle Smokehouse is in the American Pavilion, and we loved eating there. Like, we would walk all around Epcot Member, and the kids would struggle to find food, and we'd eat there. So it's like barbecue food, and it's like, you remember? 
<laughs> it's right in the back, <laughs> right across from the stage. We would get the pulled pork and the burgers, oh, okay. and you just walk in, yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> thought he just knew right away because we eat there all the time. Okay. You know? Yeah. But anyway, it's Regal Eagles now, and it's the it's the bird. The, the American from, place? Yeah. Okay. And it's the eagle from Muppets. Oh, so it's like Muppet cool. theme now. And it looks really cool inside. I saw a picture. I'm really excited about that because I love barbecue food. And they've got a lot of beer and stuff. It's like a tap place, I guess. Okay. Draft place. I don't know if there's a difference, but I think it's draft. <laughs> They have beer. I don't, I don't drink beer, but they have it. <laughs> so it's nice to have. And now that Electric Umbrella closed down, it's the only restaurant in all of um, kind of Epcot that. Well, I, we didn't like it. Yeah, but still, it's kind of yeah, sad. It's the Electric Umbrella. <laughs> but it, they do mobile ordering, which is really nice because the lines can get ridiculous. So it's kind of nice just to have something planned out and then just go and pick it up. So, and it's gonna be quick service, so you just stop it and give what you want, you don't have to sit, so it's kinda nice. Okay. okay, so another thing going on over at Epcot is they've relocated Mickey. They've taken him from, <laughs> I don't know where he was. <laughs> I don't really remember how it's called. But they've moved him over to the Imagination oh, yeah. Pavilion over where the Disney Pixar Short Film Festival is. They put him inside there, keep him nice and cool. <laughs> Tucked away. <laughs> Tucked away. But it looks really cute, the theming in there is adorable. But I'm hoping if they move him over there and stuff, they'll kind of keep everything open over there longer, because that'd be great. I'm sick of sprinting to Figment before it closes. Yeah, before the park closes. Yeah. But anyway, so that is what's coming to 2020, and we're really excited about we're it. We're excited, our trip's coming up, and we we're just, just ready. Go right now. <laughs> Yeah, it sucks when you're just sitting at home and you got your trip planned and you see all this new stuff coming and you're not there to witness mm -hmm. it all. But uh, we're coming. <laughs> we're gonna ready or not, here yeah, we go. We're gonna eat and have fun. Have a blast. But uh, so anyway, that's all we have for today. We just thought we'd inform you guys on the new stuff coming and. Maybe we'll have some footage of it all. Yeah, so uh, since some of this stuff might be open now, if you've done any of it or seen any of it or know any more info than we've given you today, why don't you comment down below and let us know. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, we're not professionals, even no. though we think we, we are. We just love Disney, but love Disney the and... new stuff, it's so up in the air anyway. They yeah. change plans. They, they change, change it. They dates, push everything back. They... Disney knows what they're doing. Nobody else knows what Disney's doing, so. Yeah, so. But anyway, we just had fun looking up all the new stuff and getting excited for our So we just thought we'd make a video of it. Yep. So anyways, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Bye. And then the last thing that we're really looking forward to is they moved Mickey's meet and greet to the Imagination Pavilion over by Figment. It's in that, um, the Dix Disney Pixar short. <laughs> Disney Disney. <laughs> ah, sucks. Okay, just start with the <laughs> Maybe I should talk about it. Yeah, you should. Okay, go. Uh, another thing we're excited about is, uh, they moved Mickey. <laughs> I don't know where. Uh, <laughs> what? You don't know what? <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> <laughs> oh, get it dog fail, you're gonna have to. Okay, you're gonna cut the hole. I'll do snippets. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you have to leave it. <laughs> get your shoot together and come back.